of Salzburg, the cultured landscape unfolds, with villages at the bottom of the valley, mountain farms on the sun terraces, and alpine chalets right up to the tree line. Up here, the Radl family live tucked away. They've particularly lost their hearts to one of the mountain inhabitants, the Marmot. What started out 30 years ago with the care of a few orphaned animals soon developed into a passion. Up to eight rodents live in the outdoor enclosure and dig three meter long tunnels in the garden. Water and Katharina Radl breed marmots and pass them on to zoological gardens. With a heavy heart, they release the remaining young animals into the wild in autumn, much to the pleasure of walkers. During the summer months, marmots eat large amounts of food to store energy in fat deposits. This enables them to survive hibernation from October to April. Katarina and Waterado feed the animals three times a day. Well, so they're such sweet, gentle animals, and they just seem to be satisfied with life, don't they? If you come across them up in the mountains and hear them squealing, it really tears at the heartstrings. It's a great experience. Now, let's see if you've put on weight. Right. 2.30. Well done. The animals weigh up to five kilos. A marmot has to gain 50 times the weight it had at birth to survive the winter. Their preferred diet consists of thistles, mountain clover, and dandelions. The Radl family add carrots, oat flakes, and rusks to the menu. The marmots sleep in the winter and we don't have any work with them. And in the summer, when they are out and about, it's so nice to see them. We give them oats and carrots and Daddy has to mow the lawn. For the past 25 years, Walter Radl and his wife have spent the summer months in their mountain cabin and done all the chores that go with it. When we go up here and first enter the house in summer, I always feel my heart lift. There's so much happiness and love that went into this place. Walter Radl opens his enclosures to visitors. That's earned him the nickname Marmot Grandad in the region. We do feel like their parents. And I think they feel like we're part of the family too. They're such docile animals and very socially minded. From the Radl family, we're headed to Austria's highest mountain.